Hello, welcome back to the Tea Gap Commentary. Um, today we're gonna do Walter Vaps. Now, I know I've been told to do him for the longest time. Like, I'm being serious. I have been told so many times by so many people to do him. And I guess now we're doing it, right? Um, I feel like I've been a little, little bit too serious with my channel lately, right? I've been too serious. But that's because, like, I don't know. I'm reviewing some, like, you know, detective work and all that. So it's like... It's a little different, right? So I'm like, <laughs> I'm bringing it down a little bit. But anyway, so we're gonna start, right? We're gonna start. Anyway, let me close this door. Anyway, um, so this is my second video I've done today, right? This is my second video. Um, but you don't care. So let me get started. Anyway, if you like TCAP, check out the channel. I have a lot of videos on this. Like the video before you even know what it's about, right? Just like it. Screw it. Why not? Anyway, let's just get started. Let's get started. Just see, so you know. Also, give me a second. I'll say it after. Walter Babst did not stick out of a crowd. I was watching you for like ten minutes. Oh, in, Del Harvey. Press jeans. He was the kind of guy you'd see standing okay. in line at the hold on at the grocery store. Anyway, <clears throat> Walter Babst. He's forty-three years old. Um, also known as Kinky underscore man underscore in underscore Corona. So, okay. So I was going to mention that I was going to like look him up a little bit like for the TK wiki because I've honestly never like seen his segment beyond his like famous line of like, you know, somebody shoot me right there. I forgot what he says or something like that. But, um, I forgot. <laughs> so let's just keep going. Dry anyway. cleaners of the grocery store. Dry cleaners. Oh, that's a beggar. Walter Batched did not <laughs> stick out of the crowd. I was watching him for like 10 minutes. And he walks in with pressed jeans. He's the kind of guy you'd see standing in line at the dry cleaners of the grocery store. Never <laughs> stick out of the crowd. Clean cut guy. Come but me. here we are on a Saturday morning. And we know that this guy is a teacher. He's okay. a teacher. Wait a minute. Walter Bass was a teacher. I did not know that. Like, I straight up did not know that. I always thought he was more like a... I know there is that one guy, like the oil drill con consultant or something like that. That's kind of what I imagined from him, right? Or like he works like at a tire shop. I mean, just look at his shirt. You know what I mean? It makes a lot of sense. But he's a teacher. Mr. Babs, right? Uh, imagine you're, you're sitting in middle class. He's probably a mad teacher. We've seen so many teachers in, in TCAP that are either history or mad teachers. I Like, I don't know what it is about them, but... You know, you gotta watch out for those, right? But anyway, imagine you're you're sitting in your class and you find out that your teacher appeared on to catch a predator, right? I don't know how I would feel. Hold on, I'm like burping. Anyway, I mean, I've had, you know, maybe a little bit too much information, but <laughs> I've had teachers like in my, you know, when I was going through high school, middle school, all that that have kind of been caught in something like that. So I've I've I kind of know what that feeling is. You know, what I mean, you kind of feel. Surprise! I mean, I, I mean, you, you could probably guess that, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, to see your teacher on TV, especially in a segment like this, is probably very surprising. Uh, clean cut guy. Clean but cut here we are guy. On a Saturday morning. Oh, uh, and it's really hot right now. You know, I'm over here, like, you know, sorry, ladies. You know, just everyone, keep your clothes on, right? Even the dudes, right? I'm over here shirtless because it is hot, right? I need a little bit of this water right here. This water tanker, right? I don't remember that being there, actually. But uh, anyway, since this is my second video of the day, I have, like, another bottle of, wa bottle of water. And <laughs> so I've, I've drank two bottles of water just kind of watching videos. Um, you know, I guess it's healthy for me. You know what I mean? I'm getting hydrated over here, right? I'm like a plant. And like we point. know that this guy is a teacher. Okay. We know how old he is. We know he's married. He's an old we guy. He married? Hey, how kids. are you? Doing? Good. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? And right away. I'm under arrest. <laughs> no, I want to talk to you. Go ahead, have a seat. Anyway, go ahead. <coughs> oh my god, that is so. Sorry, let me calm down a little bit. Let me relax. That is really good. That is really good. What, I'm under arrest? And he goes for the hat shake. That's so... That's a banger right there. Um, he, he, he... Wait, okay. So he's a teacher. He's married and he has kids. No, I had no clue that was uh, a thing, right? I didn't know that he was married or had children. But, um... 
I will say though, like you know, I know he does flip out. Like I cannot lie. I mean, I know the whole thing about like you know, hey, you just kill me, right? I forgot exactly what he says, but it's something along the lines like that. But the, it's the smile he puts on where he's like, I'm under arrest. Like, he's like, yep, I knew it. Um, which a lot of these guys usually put up that, like, lie of like, hey, I know this was going to happen. You know, it's very classic, dare I say. But he does it different. I'm under arrest. I'm under arrest. And he goes for the handshake. That's so good. It's like, what? I'm done for, right? And he goes for the handshake. No, I want to talk to you. <laughs> that's so good. I, I don't know how to. It's just so good. You know, that's it. Go ahead. Have a seat. Anyway. Go ahead and bust. You knew what? No, just sit, sit tight. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Getting my ass kicked. Getting your yeah, ass kicked. kicked. Yeah. I knew it. I knew I should. I knew it was a setup. He's uh, killed. No, I need you to sit down, please. I need you to just arrest me and take me to jail and, and ask. <laughs> I need to talk. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of had like a virus with like this weekend. I mean, as of uh, let me look at my watch on Monday, 11th of March, I think it's March, unless I'm about to say that I'm in the future, but I think it's March, I think. Uh, but I, I was like pretty sick, so like my chest hurts when I left, but it, it's so good. Like, just you take me to jail, arrest me, kill me, right? It's so good. <laughs> Uh, classic. He, I, he looks like such a normal guy. Like, Chris is right. I know he usually always says it. Like, yes, this guy looks like you could see him at a grocery store, right? Like, you know, I, I like to think that most people go to, to grocery stores, right? I don't think there's a person in this planet that uh, hasn't gone in one unless you, like, live in, like, a farm or something, which, you know, you know what I mean. It doesn't matter. But, like, he does look really, like, strangely normal i don't know like i feel like you could definitely send some form of predator in someone but for walter paps like i don't know i mean he looks like a teacher <laughs> get it because he is a teacher but uh why am i so excited it's like eight it's, it's nine at night it's not even whatever i'm under arrest no i want to talk to you go ahead have a seat anyway go ahead and ask you know what no just sit sit tight and what are you doing <laughs> Getting my ass kicked. Getting my ass kicked. Getting your ass kicked. My yeah. ass kicked. I knew it. I knew I should. I knew it was a setup. I, no, I need you to sit down. Why does he get I up to too? Arrest me, take me to jail, and, and execute. I need to and talk to execute you. Me. And you know what? I didn't. I didn't bring anything. I didn't want to do anything. Whatever. I'm dead. Well, why did you come here, though? Help me to understand. <laughs> what you happened? Know, sick son of a bitch. I've never done it before. <laughs> I talk about it online all the time. What? Man, what? What is happening, actually? Because, like, I know we had that one Richard guy, right, in Takedown where he was, like, very adamant about people getting caught and he knows, like, you know, everything that Chris has done is good and, you know, I mean, like, very righteous in a sense. Like, Walter Babs is, like, very, like, yeah, you know, I knew I'm a sick son of a bitch, right? Like, this is real bad. You got to kill me, right? There's, there, there's no rehabilitating me, right? This is it. You know, you got to kill me. There's no other way. But, <clears throat> like... <clears throat> Also, I just realized that, you know, there's probably some people that have, like, found me recently. And, like, I've noticed that I haven't really brought this side of me out recently. You know what I mean? Like, of recent times. But that's because I haven't really been excited to watch TCAP, like, realistically. You know what I mean? And these breaks that I've took, you know what I mean, where I'm, like, away for, like, a week or two have kind of helped me, to be honest. I'm, like, really, exci really excited to be back, right? But, um, hopefully you enjoy this and don't find me, find me to be annoying. But, um, you know, I mean, th there's these funny videos and then there's like the serious videos, like the police interrogations and all that stuff. Like that'll still be around. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I'm having fun. Hopefully you're enjoying this because uh, whatever. Well, help me to understand. If you, if you made it this far, you're enjoying it. Like, that's just what, what I'm what, thinking. I mean, do you have a, con a compulsion? A concussion. <laughs> an addiction to the Internet? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I've never done anything with anybody except my wife. Ever. Babs was <laughs> very graphic. In a conversation, what he thought he was having with a twelve-year-old girl. Oh, they talk about oral sex. They talk about intercourse. They talk about all the things they were going to do together and how he would teach her. Oof, and he says, I just oof, 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 oof. So, um, recently, I know y'all don't care, but you know, I've made a, a collab video with Nabu. Uh, I think it's like two, two, two or something like that. But I know that she has someone on their channel that's called Morticia that like reviews chat logs and I've watched two of them and it, it was Lee Greer and then Keith I forgot his last name but um it really surprised me how graphic these guys truly get like it gets really really bad 
Um, because it's like, I can find this guy funny, but like, if you go to his chat logs, he's probably like one of the most vile, vilest, is that even a word? <laughs> one of the most vile people you've ever met. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's talking, I mean, a 12 year old, that's insane. Like, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what that was. Anyway, like that is like beyond the funniness of it. Like this is really, really bad. Like, you know what I mean? There, I don't know what the psychology is behind like the whole 12, 13, 14, right? Because I know there is a different differential um, between them because I know there are some people who wouldn't go for 12. I know this is all just real bad, but wouldn't go for 12, but they would go for like 13, 14, 15, right? Um, it, for you to go the lower, the lower you go, the more messed up you are. I mean, I don't have to tell you that, but he goes after someone who's that age and then he talks about very graphic things and then tries to teach her about these things which is really bad because uh to be honest most of these kids like i know nowadays like it's really easy to you know get online and stuff but it was probably their first ever encounter hearing things like that you know and you could definitely scar some people easily with things like that and you know i mean it's and it's all for a sick pleasure you know someone just enjoys themselves for i know very graphic but Someone enjoys themselves, you know, for five, ten minutes um, talking about, you know, very sexual things with someone who they think is very innocent. But in the other, right, the victim's point of view, you know, the, the, the supposed decoy and victim and all that stuff, their lives will forever change from that moment. You know, what I mean, especially when it comes to meeting the, this said person, you know, in person, like, you know, I mean, it's really dangerous and I don't have to tell you that, but chat about it. Yeah, I just talk about me go back. Bad Yeah, like yeah, like An he looks into the internet. He looks innocent enough, but like these people are monsters. I don't have to tell you that. You know, I mean, it takes a certain type of monster to do something like this. Like there's people who are willing to kill people for certain things. You know, what I mean, and some people are justified in it, but th there is no reason to do something like this. Like there is no good, like somewhat like way you can explain yourself off to be like, hey, I did this for a, a greater good or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've never done anything with anybody except, except my, my wife. wife. Ever. Ever. Babst was very graphic in a conversation. Reminds me of Dallin. He was having with a girl. They talk about oral sex. They talk about intercourse. Music. They talk about all the things they were going to do together and how he would teach her. Oof. And he says, "I just chat about it. I just talk about it online. It's fantasy." But it ceased to be fantasy when, when they're he walked here. into our house. Yep. Now, who who were you here to see? See, and that's a really good point. Like, and it's kind of what I was trying to say, but without actually finding the word. Like, it is all fantasy to them, but in reality, the decoy and the the, the supposed minor is it. They they don't understand, <laughs> and they're changing the world forever. And I'm I'm sure that the people watching my videos are not like this and would never think to do something like this. I don't have to tell you that you shouldn't do this, but you know, what I mean, it's just a precaution, and and it's honestly just voicing my opinion. It's just like. You know, I mean, everyone knows that, you know, children are very impressionable and they they say whatever they hear and they do whatever they see. And in this situation, you know, the, you just ruin their lives in a sense. You know, what I mean, a lot of people recover from it, but sometimes it's very difficult. But um, I'll, on a lighter note, his his whole like, I've never done anything except my wife. Right. It reminds me a lot about uh, it reminds me a lot of Alan Turney when he's like, you know, oh, have you ever done this? I've never never done this I, like i don't know i don't know it's funny right ever ever babst was very graphic babst in a conversation he thought he was having with a 12 year old girl they talk about oral sex they talk about intercourse they talk about all the things they were going to do together and how he would teach her and he says i just chat about it chat. i just talk about it online it's fantasy but it ceased to be fantasy when he walked into our house now who who were you here to see i don't even know and you know what <laughs> It's ridiculous. I'm ask you something. Can you kill me? Under arrest. You're not right now. No. No. But I yeah, need to exactly. ask you some more questions first. Yeah. Now you were here. No, 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 no. I want you to sit down. Please. He needs to sit down first of all. Can I go? He needs to sit down before Karate comes through. Right, he hits him with a haymaker, right, or an elbow, something, right, something real mean. But anyway, um, on to a more serious matter. Um. Him asking constantly about police and if he's under arrest, it's all self-preservation. And it's something that I've seen a lot in Predators where they're like always worried about themselves first and they're never really remorseful. They're more like sorry that they got caught or they're more sorry for themselves than anything. 
And in this case, I mean, it's very obvious that he is. I mean, he's like, I'm under arrest. And yes, he did pull that, that like little stunt where he's like, yeah, take me to jail, kill me, right? Very, I'm sure it was just like more of a reaction, re- reaction, re- reactionary? Is that a word? Reactionary? I, I, I don't know how to say it, right? But it was more of a reaction, like to the whole being caught and like being very, uh, like, I don't know, like very, you know, with you acting, you know what I mean? Very loud and stuff. I don't know. I want to talk to you a little bit more right now, no. But I need to ask you some more questions first. Yeah. Now, you were here... No, 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 no. I want you to sit down, please. I need, I need to go. Can I go? Can I, I go, sir? Can I go? Everywhere I turn, Rolanda Resicris is there, man. <laughs> I want to watch him soon, just but... Sit down. Would you like some... I've seen him, what, three times now? I just can't do that. Or twice. No, it would be my third time. Water? But no, I, I, I just... I'm about to puke. Water? I would just... About to throw up. You were talking to a girl named Beth. Beth? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Okay. You know what? I don't know. What did her profile say? Her profile said I'm going to tell Harvey. Shout out to Dell, by the way. Profile said. So I recently found out that Dell has done TED Talks. I had no clue. <laughs> um, I found that out with the Nabu video I did, you know, collab. But anyway, um, like. I'm surprised that Dell looks very different now. I, if you're not aware of what she looks like, search her up. Del Harvey. Ooh, sorry. She looks very different. She has like a like a long bob haircut. Like I like I don't know how to describe it. But she looks very different. But you know, the moment she speaks, it's her. I mean, Del Harvey has a very, you know, memorable voice and you could definitely hear it in, in the TED Talk, but I don't even know what the hell she was talking about realistically. I was more stunned that she was doing something like that. Like, do they just, just do they just allow anybody on the damn stage? Like, could I go up there? You know, TED Talk, if you're watching. <laughs> TED Talk, if you're watching, I am willing to go up there. You know what I mean? Um, just don't shine all the lights on me. I am a little bit of a vampire, but... Or just throw me into a closet. I'll do it, like, remotely. I, have no, I don't know how that would work, but... Um, anyway... On to, back onto the damn subject at hand. Um, I don't even know what they were saying. You were talking to a girl named Beth. Beth? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Okay. You know what? I don't know. What did her profile say? Her profile said I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what? The profile said she was how old? She said 12 or 13. 12 or 13. So you know you were coming here for a 12 or 13 year old girl. Jesus. I'm totally screwed. I know that. But it, it's... Forget it. What? Do you have kids? What do you say at the end? You were coming here for a 12 or 13 year old girl. I'm totally screwed. I know that. Yeah. But it, it's. Forget it. Forget it. Okay, so yeah, I'm totally screwed, right? But forget it. Um, I'm sure he's so distressed. I mean, you see him get up and, and sit down, like, what, twice? It, maybe this is his, his third time. But, I mean, I could definitely understand. He must be really stressed out, but he deserves it. You know what I mean? You were really about to commit some really horrible things in his house. And everything that's coming towards you right now, you probably deserve it some way or another but um i wonder what they passed him it's probably like it's probably a picture it looks like a picture of probably his genital if he sent his, his weenie on everything that's gonna send it over the line because like that is some like really really bad because i know we've had people who have gone over for 12 year olds you know what i mean and send pictures and all that stuff and he would be labeled as one of the worst ones because that is like really pushing the line with like really really bad things and to hear that he wanted to teach the, the, the decoy, you know, all about this and that, um, you know, he might look, I'll say in quotations, innocent or like, you know, very distressed. Because I know there are some people that feel bad for some of these guys for being distressed or crying or whatever. But it's, it's it, you know, it, it came back to them. Yeah, I mean, they did that to themselves and they were definitely going to do something a lot worse. I would prefer to see him cry than to have, uh, you know, a young child have their lives ruined. And, you know, and that's the reality we have to be, be put against. You can't pick either or you can't say, yeah, you know, but but he doesn't deserve to be humiliated or he doesn't deserve to be like, you know, in distress or whatever. No, 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 no. That's just not how that works. It's either you pick one or the other. You know, only one timeline can exist. It's either where Walter Babs ruins a 12 year old's life or he gets humiliated on TV. There is no uh, there is no other option or him just not doing this altogether. But, you know, obviously that's not the case. Um, But yes, it's just a little topic at hand because I like I, I don't know why I got reminded of that recently, because 
uh, you know, I, when I did the Vincent Ambrosio one, someone was definitely the, and I, I'm like, if you're watching, I don't blame you. I actually agree agree with you, right? It is it is distressful to see someone crying. I will not deny that. But you know, and I'm pretty sure you said like, yeah, he deserved everything he got, but it's still very you know distressing to see someone cry, and I do agree with that. But yeah, you know, I mean, it's just sometimes that's just how it is. You know, I mean, they they deserve it, and it's probably the best ending we could get. I'm in trouble. The profile said she was how old? She said 12 or 13. 12 or 13. Horrible. So you know you were coming Middle here schooler, dude. Old girl. I'm totally screwed. I know that. But it, was that a seventh grader? Grader? Forget it. Do you have kids? Yeah, I yeah. do. Well, how would you Worrying. feel if some guy in his 40s I, I, walked into your house trying to hook up with your kids? I feel pissed. Pissed? What do you do for a living? I'm in education. You're in education? Oh, my God. A teacher? Mm-hmm. What grade do you teach? High school. High school. High school. Yes. That's still not good we either. We see men from all walks of life, but when a teacher comes in, yeah, he he he's about to spit some knowledge. I know that, but to know that he is a high school teacher, it does not matter because I think it's even worse. <laughs> because that is you know where you know I mean the the more because uh, I when I was in high school, like I've seen some stuff. <laughs> not to say I had like a traumatic experience at high school or something, but when I was in high school. The scandals happened, it, you know, when I was there, I was there and I heard about the teachers doing these certain things. It just seems like that is the most predominant place. Other than, like, I don't want to talk about that really, but it doesn't absolve. You know, I mean, he might not be going for the age that he's teaching, but it, they're all in the same field, to be honest. They're, they're all in the same range. But it, like all of the kids are dangerous. What I'm saying, everyone he he comes into contact with in, in, in education are in danger, no matter what the age is. Um, but you know, hearing the teachers and Chris is going to say this in probably a better way than I could, but hearing the teachers show up on the show, is just really worrying because we're only seeing the ones that get caught, not the ones that are either successful. And I, I know that's nasty, but you know what I mean? The ones that don't get caught, the ones that get away with it, you know, the ones that are actively doing it as we speak. It is horrible because, you know, we've only caught a, a percentage of the reality of how many of these people exist in an education system. You know, what I mean, we've caught how many we've <laughs> me and Chris, we, me and him, we caught the, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, us TCAP fans. Right. And, and all that. Uh, what was it like? Maybe three or four. I know there is um, Walter, uh, Walter, Walter Babs. Um, there's that. Uh, ah, what's his name? Frick. Um, I know there was, um, it, it was that guy with the glass, Stanley, Stanley Kennel, uh, Kendall. Um, there was, uh, Mike Manzi. There was, um, ah, I forgot his name. James Rutherf Rutherford, Rutherford, him. So that's four at least. And I know there's probably like a couple of other ones that I do not know of. Um, which could make it five, six, seven, right? The, the, like that's not that many. <laughs> and you just think about it. You know, I mean, a lot of things could be happening behind closed doors that we don't know. And it's just all very crazy to think about. We see men from... I'm in education. You're in education. A teacher. Mm -hmm. What grade do you teach? High school. High school. Yes. We see men from all Horrible. walks of life. But when a teacher comes in, it's especially disturbing because obviously this guy has access to children. You gotta Sheesh, wonder what's going yes. on at school or after school. That's true. Please, please, just sit down. I, I won't go anywhere. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to go to jail. But I need you just <laughs> to stay. Yeah, he, he, he can't just be walking around, man. Like, it, it's making everyone nervous. <laughs> but um, I was going to say, you know, Chris has to put that really well. He does have easy access to children. You know, that is the probably the most children filled places you could be at other than a daycare or something like that. Education. And especially a high school, you know, what I mean, it, it is, it, it, you know, what happens in school, after school and, you know, but anywhere in between and um, scary thought. And I hope that, you know, some precautions are made, you know, what I mean, hopefully, you know, people aren't as quiet to speak up about certain things, because I know that one of the cases, you know, in my area where someone, the friend of the person that was being like, you know, I guess. I guess victimized that is the word I will say the friend spoke up and that's how they found out. You know what I mean? 
if it wasn't for if it isn't for people speaking up that you know then these people would be in a lot more danger and you know i mean it's just a good a good good precaution you know you know to have people be comfortable to speak up and it's resources to go to you know i mean i know that like i know counselors in high school like infamously known for being useless but you know they do other things i'm sure but they they always say that but i truly don't even think that's the case either um but you know i mean because the times i've got to a counselor in high school which not for anything like crazy but like maybe for like a you know um like schedule change or stuff like they're not that helpful you know what i mean but i hope that they have helped or like improve that where you could go for somewhere to like you know because i know there's like what is it, like proctors is it is that what it's called like people in school that help with like cases like that almost like kind of police in a sense but yes stay by the bench there please yeah what are you wearing at the moment? My boxers and tank top. I sleep in. Oh, don't, please don't read it. I know what it says. No, hey, yay, yay. Relax, first of all. Walter Baps, don't you dare try to tell Chris what to do, because that is ridiculous. You find yourself in a situation. You can't just be, you know, I guess making demand. Oh, no, 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 don't read it. No, you have to face your crimes. You know what I mean? Like, everything you said, you said it with chest. You know what I mean? You, you said it with everything, you know, with, with your own belief I, I don't know what i'm saying but you know what i mean everything he said he believed and he meant it so you know you have to hear it back and that's just it and preferably i hope he keeps reading it out because you know it would be nice to see him a little bit more distressed you know what i mean not in like a you know malicious way but i also want to know what did he say because i don't know you know what i mean i don't know if his channels are out there i don't know if the tcap wiki that we will check out in a second um have some but you know. this john is oh. that appropriate in any way? Oh, what is that? You know, that's against the law right there. Is it? To transmit that to somebody who you think is under He's going to keep yes, it. Yes, Watch it this. Transmit Watch it. this. What? No, I didn't transmit that to her. May I ask? Do you what? see my pick in the chat window? Yeah. Yep. Think you would like that in you? Oh. How big is it? <laughs> well, you saw. Go get a can of Coke. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, that's him. Oh, my God. That's the... The predator that puts the can of coke right next to his weenie. Is it? I think, uh, unless there's another one, which that is a little bit suspicious. Like, I don't know. What is it with the can of cokes, right? Uh, Coca-Cola, I mean. <laughs> uh, I think I have a, I have a can of Coca-Cola here. <laughs> it's not even complete, because I remember when, I don't know how old that is. I'll actually take that out, right? But, oh, the can of cokes, man. That is so embarrassing. But the, I don't under, I don't understand what he meant by him not transmitting that. Like, what do you mean you sent it? It's not like they accidentally found it somewhere. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a very strange. My pick in the chat thing. window. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Think you would like that in you? Nasty. That is How really is nasty. It? Well, you saw. Go get a can of Coke. Can of Coca Cola. <laughs> Dang. Will it hurt a little? Yes, at first. Now, oh what, my God. I, what conclusion am I supposed to draw here, John? Yeah, I'm innocent. I can't say anything. I'm done. I'm fried. I'm finished. Well, there's, yes, please there, arrest me. there's pretty much from the get-go, BAPS seems to realize Maps. that 12 different things can result from his showing up and none of them are good. There's that is one true. thing you gotta yeah. know first. But when I tell him that I'm Chris <laughs> Hansen with Dave... Hold on, I, I forgot this exists, right? The whole like, you know, but I have to tell you one thing. <laughs> um, before he reveals it himself, right, I do have to admit that you know what Chris is saying is is really basic, but you know him t thinking like twelve different scenarios where he ends up, you know, in whatever situation, they're all bad. And I'm sure he knows. At least he's one of those predators that like truly understands that he's screwed. Yeah, you know I mean, there are some people who genuinely believe that they could talk themselves out of this, or even just straight up lie. Like some people, I know the apple pie predator. Like he was very forward. Like. Like he's like, no, I, I don't know. I was talking to a 28 year old. Like, like, you know, drop the act in a sense. You know what I mean? I understand you're trying to really defend yourself. Maybe you're even trying to convince yourself that there was nothing, that you did nothing wrong. But sometimes it's just best to just drop the act. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's just embarrassing. But to be honest, they're under the impression that they're not being recorded. You know what I mean? They're trying to fight someone. Uh, in words, of course. <laughs> they're not boxing. <laughs> right. But, um,. Yeah, I wonder how he takes being recorded. I don't know if he walks out, but I have like a vision in my head that he does walk out. Maybe I see the future, right? Who knows? 
<laughs> That's ridiculous. But anyway, let, let's see. First, let's see what happens. Now, see what, what happens. Am I, what conclusion am I supposed to draw here, John? John? I can't see anything. John? Well, there's, there's, there's pretty much from the get-go, BAPS seems to Maps. realize that 12 different things can result from his showing up and none of them are good. There's one thing you got to know first. But when I tell him that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC and we're doing a story on computer prep. Oh, 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 oh. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say, he knows Ooh, that's, oh, that this is oh, okay. he, Yeah, he does walk out. He does walk out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows that this is going to be on television. It's embarrassing. He's starting to figure Plus out the door. That's that funny. this is going to impact his career as a teacher. Kill me, arrest me. And he's starting to figure Attack out me. that this is not going to go over. That's well embarrassing. It's really all. embarrassing. Calming off. Um, uh, I mean, we're there's what? There's 10 seconds in the video, but... Um, they, that was a really fast exit. I'm really impressed by it in a sense. Like, um, I didn't see Ron Knight. You know, I mean, I was looking. Best believe I was looking, but I don't think I saw him. But, um, he really exited really quick, and I didn't think so. I thought he cried. Well, I did say I thought he ran out, but I also thought he cried. But I'm. Not, it doesn't matter. Let's just finish this. Be appointed to represent you before any questioning you wish. Do you understand his rights? We have people from all This walks guy, of life, oh my god. Including an actor. That guy is so crazy. This guy. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um that was a really good watch actually. Um but anyway, let's search up uh TCAP Wiki. What is it? What's his name? Walter Walter Babst. Walter all right let's see let's see i've actually i don't know much if i do know about this picture man he looked mean in a sense he doesn't look that harmful but he does look mean right but anyway okay let's read this out so <clears throat> walter babs his uh his <laughs> i just read it out <laughs> his quote is well you saw go get a can of coke right walter bragging about his penis right but anyway uh, we have Walter Babs here. Let's just read this one out first. Uh, Walter's uh, Riverside Mugshot, aliases Kinky Man in Corona. John Hunter. Wait, that, that was the name he gave. No wonder Chris called him John because I was like, John, what the what the freak, right? But anyway, relatives, he has a wife and children. I'll hopefully talk about them here in this wiki because I would like to know a little bit more about that. But I can also understand why they wouldn't just find information like that about them. But um, he's married. He was born May 6th. 1962 he's six feet tall he's six foot he weighs 190 pounds his eye color is brown hair color is gray partially gray <clears throat> you know it doesn't really look that gray but anyway walter edward babst is a predator featured in the riverside california edition of to catch a predator he will continue to uh, wait he continue <clears throat> he would continue a disturbing trend of educators soliciting children the same ages as the students they taught and is also known for his iconic, well, you saw, go get a can of Coke line from his chat logs. Did I have never heard of that line, I'm going to be honest. Um, his chat. 43-year-old Walter Babs was a married high school teacher when he started an online chat with a perverted justice decoy who was posing as a 12-year-old girl named Beth. Um, Babs started to chat, <clears throat> started the chat by calling the decoy cutie, mentioning it meant not just in that innocent, oh, isn't she a cute girl way. He then lied about his age, claiming to be 40. <laughs> Three years? Are you serious? Like, it's all the same, man. Like, you're not going to get any more attractive, you know, by dro dropping three years off of your age. You know what I mean? You have to really go a little bit further than that. Um, Like some of the people that have really dropped it, like, what, 20, 10 years off of their age trying to lie. But anyway, and his name and was named John, right? Like, I'll just... <clears throat> he mentioned how he cherished the sight of women wearing skirts panties and thongs which you know a, a little culture but it's nasty in this context then he said to the decoy that he wanted to visit her house and have a naked encounter with her um nasty god why man <laughs> as soon as he would arrive at the house bab said he wanted to have blank with her he didn't ask uh, her whether she <clears throat> whether she was on her period and said that <clears throat> i'm sorry yeah, i'm like having a dry mouth there right now give me a second right <clears throat> so anyway 
he mentioned how he cherished the sight of okay i've already read that then he said the decoy okay he wanted <laughs> he wanted uh to visit her house and have a naked encounter okay yeah as soon as he would arrive at the house bab said he wanted to have blank with her he then asked her whether she was on her period and said that his orgasms were potent what what do you mean potent what I mean, that's kind of hard, low-key, but no, no, that's nasty. I'm just kidding. But when he had blank with her, when the decoy said she didn't want to get pregnant, Babs claimed he preferred not to use condoms at that he wouldn't, quote, able to get it out without shooting some in her. Um, because he thought she was hot. Um, when the two talked about school, Babs stated he would... Stated he... Okay, wait a minute, I'm... Reading, reading a little bit ahead, I swear to God, if he says what he is about to say, what I think he's about to say, I'm going to be really, really disturbed. Beth stated he, stated he, okay, okay, a lot of, a lot of mess up here. If she were at his school, he couldn't come over saying he will, he could never do anything with students like that. What? Okay, well, that's a better turnout than what I thought. I thought he, I thought he was going to say like, if she was at his school, you know, whatever the blank, 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 right? Then Babs claimed that he was thinking about having blank uh, with the decoy and was therefore sexually aroused. <clears throat> he inquired as to whether the decoy would want him to pull out <clears throat> during blank or wear condoms instead. I'm saying blank because like this stuff makes me uncomfortable too. Like I'm not some like robot, you know. What I mean, this makes me uncomfortable. But anyway, I'm um, following their discussion over a uh, <clears throat> discussion of her period. Uh, periods. Babs advised a decoy to use breath control or a depot shot. What is that? I don't know what a depot shot is. Can I search that up or is that is that not a good idea? Hold on. Um, yeah. <laughs> I should have not done that. I don't want to read that. Uh, they, how would she get that, first of all? Or how would she get any of this? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm reading a little bit ahead. I don't like this. The conversation then veered off subject. When he inquired if the decoy had any hair on her, okay, thanks for that. Babs then sent the decoy a picture of his blank. After the decoy inquired about its size, Babs responded that she could see it and urged the decoy to go get a can of Coke. After revealing he was married and a teacher, he next voiced concern about getting in trouble. Babs continued his sexually graphic chat, saying that the decoy, um, <clears throat> saying the decoy would quote watch as the bare head parts. Um, you read ahead, please. Uh, it's so hot. And mentioning she would see wetness on the skin of his blank. It's awesome. Babs said he would pull out and shoot his blank all over her. Okay, no. And would want her to taste it. He confessed to eating some of his... What? <laughs> For why? Why? Am why? Okay, this was supposed to be funny, right? Like, okay. L let me just have a little bit of a break here for for the l love of Christ, please. So I did do a poll like a long time ago. I think it was what like last month, where I was like asking if people like my serious stuff or liked my comedy, and a lot of people, I think over like eighty percent, really liked my like funniness. And this is how I used to make videos like a couple of years, like like a year ago, right? A couple of years. we're like reaching on two years, like with this year, I think. But anyway, um. <clears throat> And people really like the comedy. I didn't know that my comedy was very annoying back then, but I feel like now I found like a good balance. But anyway, ooh, on to what I just read. <laughs> um, so he confessed to eating some of his um blank, comparing it to uncooked pancake batter, bro. Please, for the love of God, why, 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 why can't these people just be a little bit more normal? For the love of God, right? Uh, he maintained that he was not crazy about the taste, but he loved licking it out of a girl's blank when he blanked in her. After more chatting, the two set up a meeting. This guy was a menace. I cannot believe it. Like, he's funny and all, like, because of, like, his very, you know, strange talkings with Chris. But this is some of the worst I've ever read. You know what I mean? And I've read some pretty bad stuff, don't get me wrong. But anyway, um, on to... There's more? Okay, confrontation. Okay, so when Babs arrived at the Sting House, he was confronted by Chris Hansen. He immediately questioned if he was being arrested after shaking his hand. He would then make a request for Hansen to arrest him, take him to jail, and execute him. Babs mis uh, misrepresented himself, saying he was John Hunter. When asked what his plan was, Babs responded that he was getting his ass kicked. He asserted that he was aware... 
um, it was a sting, and urged Chris to arrest him and put him to death. <clears throat> Sorry. Babs then insisted he hadn't brought anything and wasn't going to do anything with the decoy. Um, after Chris asked when he came, what asked when he came then, ba- <laughs> what? Babs said he was a sick son of a bitch. He asserted that it was all talk and that he had never done any had done it before. He insisted uh, that aside from his wife, he had never engaged in, in sexual activity. Then Babs inquired once more about his arrest. He kept getting out of his chair and pacing the room. Babs then begged Chris to let him go. Um, I don't remember that. <laughs> Maybe in some like uncut, uncut special, right? Maybe. But anyway, <clears throat> when Chris asked, okay, let me get a little bit of sip of water. I'm sorry. Like, I'm back, but I'm still a little bit sick. <laughs> Hmm. hmm, Water's so good. Let me tell you. First of all, like after being sick, I get a little bit of trouble, like breathing, like a little vascular, you know, tension over here in my chest. But anyway, when Chris asked what the decoy's age uh, said on her profile, Babs replied, "Her profile said I'm in trouble." What? Then he claimed that he had no idea that he was pursuing a minor, and that when people faked their age, citing where he listed his age at 39 in his profile. It was all fantasy, which I like. I've heard this so many times, and we've seen it so many times where they're like, hey, they could be lying, but what person has ever lied up? You know what I mean? Or down, actually. No. No, but no, that, that makes a lot of sense. But well, it's just, why tempt fate? You know what I mean? Like, I've said this so many times. Like, if a person's saying they're a minor, just, bro, leave it alone. <laughs> like, genuinely, just stop. But. Anyway, um, it was all fantasy. He acknowledged that he would be furious if a grown man attempted to see one of his children. He subsequently subsequently, uh, confirmed that he taught high school. Babs was nervous pacing around the room. Babs implored Chris to, uh, not to read the chat log, claiming to know what it stated. As he continued to read it, after Chris, <clears throat> as he continued to read it, after Chris showed him the picture of his penis picture that he sent, Babs argued that he was unaware that sending children um, that was illegal. He maintained that he did not transmit it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Chris then disclosed his identity after reading more of the chat. Babs co- covered his face and left the sting house. Okay, the aftermath. There's a lot of after. What? That's his latest photo. He looks a lot... He looks a lot more younger, which is kind of strange to say, but... Okay, for the aftermath. I'm having trouble breathing <laughs> Anyway, hold on. Let me just get a little bit of air. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, cops told Babs to place his hands behind his back as he departed the sting house. Babs turned around and approached them by moving uh, backwards. Um, Babs resisted uh, making any statements when questioned by police after being taken into custody. He was charged with two felony accounts of attempted looting and lascivious acts with a child under 14 years of age and one felony count of attempted oral copulation with a child under 18 years of age. His bill was set at $25,000. Babs returned to the classroom two days after bailing out of jail and taught for several more days. Jesus Christ. I know there has been situations like that. I know that, that um, Stanley Kendall did teach a little bit after he got, he got caught, I believe. But anyway, let's see what exactly happened here. So, <clears throat> during this time, a female student claimed that Babs would sit on his desk and put his head down. That's kind of sad, but honestly, he deserves it. His arrest had been made known to the school. The school was made aware of Bass' arrest by the police and his attorney. Later, he was he was suspended without pay. Following his arrest, Walter's students were questioned by Dayline NBC, and some of them provided spe- uh, speculative stories of what he was purposely doing in the classroom. According to school officials, uh, officials, <clears throat> Babs had not received any complaints prior to being arrested. He later retired from his position in February 2006. I was four years old when he retired. That's kind of crazy. Um, police later discovered over 200 obscene photographs of vi- and videos of children in his computers. What? Oh, but this gets worse. Why does why is it why does it keep getting worse? You know, I oh my lord. No wonder like you guys really want to be here. Check him out. This guy is good. Like in a bad way. You know what I mean? You know it's. It's really, really heinous, but it's it makes for good content, and I know that's very selfish of me, right? But it's all in the past, in a, in a sense, I guess. I don't know, but ye, don't blame me. <laughs> anyway, um, 200 obscene photographs and videos of children on his computers. On February 2nd, 2007, Babs pleaded guilty to one felony count of attempted lewd and lascivious. One? Why did he drop the other one? I thought he had two. Um, right here, uh... 
two, yeah, two counts of, uh, two felony counts of attempt. Yeah. So you only got one. I'm sure they dropped the other one somehow. But uh, with a child under 14 years of age and one felony count of possession of obscene matter depicting a minor in a sexual conduct. My God. On May 16, 2007, Bass was sentenced to one year in jail, which is not that long. Like, I understand that back then it was a lot more different because, like, they they were still trying to figure these things out. But anyway... <clears throat> Uh, five years of extended probation, a lifetime registration as as a sex offender, which is the better part of these things, right? Because knowing that that he had done something like this in the past is very important, you know. What I mean, especially when getting a job, you know, he he worked in in public. What is it? Public service, which is you know schools and stuff and, and police. So, you know, what I mean, you know, you know what public servicing is. But <clears throat> um, it's good to know that he is on the list somewhere. Um, had to pay fees and fines, take counseling at his own expense, could not possess any weapons, and was ordered not to be around children unsupervised and not to not take any jobs which involves children. Babs later became an aerospace engineer, helping to design planes. This is one of the few instances a suspect ended up with a better career than the one they were forced to leave after being featured on the show and arrested. Interesting. He actually got a better job and position after he left teaching. Um, which, to be fair, I know teachers get paid so little, and it's always like very sad to hear. But uh, it, it, that's not an easy, I mean, that's not a hard, you know, title to be. You know what I mean? But anyway, behind the scenes, so Babs liked making models of World War World War Two airplanes, tanks, and vehicles. Which it's funny how he like kind of made this into a reality. You know what I mean? Like the whole designing World War Two planes. He seems to exclusively build German ones for some reason and is actually rather good at it. Um, he has won first place in a few competitions. What is this? Huh? Okay, hold on. Well, where is his... Okay, wait. Oh, wait, can I see a picture of the one he built? That? Oh, that'd be really cool. Oh, here he is. Oh, but they don't have his picture. Oh, that's kind of... Kind of... He beat this? That's really good. Um, Can I go back? Is it not possible? Hold on. They don't have his picture. That's just, that's kind of I hate that. I think I have, but man, these are really cool. <laughs> Such a deep sword, but like they're really really cool. I like, look at this. That's really cool. Um, what is this? The IPMS San Diego Model Expo 2009 annual contest contest results. Um, I don't necessarily know. So I, what is it with the the fonts being yellow? That is such a dumb choice, but that's really cool. And anyone that kind of sticks out. Ooh, ooh. That is really cool. <laughs> a helicopter. That's cool. You, you, you people do not care about this at all. Very cool tank. Another one. Really cool. We'll just do one more. One more. Not a tank. What is this? Whoa! <laughs> that's really cool, man. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Jim Wetch Weschler. I'm sure he's not even alive anymore. One more. <laughs> that's really cool. Anyway, let's return back to um. Okay. Anyway, he won the first place in a few competitions. I wonder if it. Sorry, I have to just make sure. Let me search up Walter. Walter. Walter Babs. Is he on here multiple times? Okay, yeah, he is on here multiple times, but they don't have a picture of his. That is so dumb. They don't have a picture of his 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 models. Like he got beat by this, which to be honest, that's really cool. But he's in the middle of that and this, which this is really cool too. But. Oh, why did they, but they don't have pictures of his stuff. That's kind of annoying. But anyway, trivia. He was one of many people in Riverside to loudly scrape the chair against the floor in nervousness. But surprisingly, Babs' wife did not leave him after this thing. He presumably still lives with her, which a little worrying, to be honest. But I understand. Uh, like, it's not an uncommon thing. Uh, I know that um, Maurice Wolin, he, I know his wife stayed with him. You know what I mean? Which is... I don't, I'm not going to comment on that. I really don't care that much, but it's just concerning. His appearance at the time of the sting has been compared to Ned Flanders due to his mustache, hair, and glasses, which I don't know what that means. Anyway, getting my ass kicked when asked by Chris Hansen what he, uh, Hansen by what he was doing at the sting house. I've never done anything with anyone except my wife ever. I'm a sick son of a bitch. I need you to arrest me, take me to jail, and execute me. <laughs> Banger. That is his, that is his most latest, uh, his, well his latest <laughs> mugshot for his arso, which he looks good. Like I cannot take it away from him. From him, he looks 
I, I could see him on a registry, though. I'll be honest. He also looks like he would be on something like that. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how old he is now. But, you know, I could probably do the math realistically. He was... Uh, let's let's do the math. Screw it. I'll try. So he was, what, 43? And this was in 2006, right? So that would be 18 years later. So he was 43, 18. That would be, what, 61? Right? Yes. He would be 61 here. Unless this was, like, a taking a few years back. Because sometimes, they, like, they don't have to go every single year. But he's 61 years old now. But anyway, that was a really good watch. I enjoyed the heck out of that, right? That was a really, really awesome watch. Thank you, Fra- Fractious9112. Right. Uh, really great. Anyway, let's, let's drop a comment. I haven't done that in a while. But anyway, that was on... Let me actually try. Let, okay. <laughs> on, I've been practicing... Amazing watch. Uh, many. Okay, that's, that's caps locks. Many. Thanks. That's good. Anyway, uh, so we'll leave it here. Um, I'm so I'm glad you're here with me. Um, it's been a while. I understand. You know what I mean? I, I last, the last person I did was, um, glory hole Jerry. And I did record, I'll just say the first video I recorded was his, um, interrogation footage. Um, I don't know if I'll drop, drop this before that or after that, most likely after, but, um, anyway, it, it feels great to kind of have the whole like Mimi spirit back. I know I'll see how people like it there if they don't like it. You know, what I mean, I know, you know, that's that's the the hard part about this is that there are people who like my serious side and people that really like my funny side, and you know, I can only really cater to you know one or the other, like somewhat in the middle, like I try my best to be in the middle. But you know, I know that you know my 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 more older fans, you know, that have been with me longer, would probably appreciate this video because that's how I kind of used to make videos back then. But anyway. We'll leave it here. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good day, right? Enjoy yourselves. I know it's spring break. You know, go have fun. Uh, I'll catch you some other time and goodbye.